Hello, I'm Tom, at it again. Fishing for tench, the second to last day of the season. I'm in the fens today, fishing the Ramsey 40 foot drain. At feeder fishing, testing out a couple of new rods. And I've had two tench and a couple of perch already, so uh, things are looking good. There's some fish fizzing in the swim at the moment, so uh, fingers crossed we'll have one for the camera shortly. I fed some chopworm and casters and a few maggots. And uh, I've, got, uh, I've got a small feeder on one rod and just a straight uh, lead on the other one. I'm, I'm trying out some circle hooks. I'm not sure the feed is quite heavy enough to sort of um, complete the bolt rig effect. Essentially these hooks, um, I think they work best as a bolt rig. Because the, as the fish moves away, the hook will slide to the corner of its mouth, then rotate round and prick the fish and, and it should run off and, and hook itself. I'm just waiting to see whether that's uh, true in real life. We'll see. It's all kind of theory at the moment, but they're, they're an interesting hook pattern, especially for tench, because tench kind of, you know, puff and blow, and um, I think you get loads of, I think the fish take your bait loads of times when you're fishing with a, uh, a ledger before you even get an indication of a bite you know it's only when that fish pricks itself uh, you actually the fish runs off and you get an indication yeah, still still some bubbles coming up out there I've got worm on both rods at the moment. These rods have got our Fox Duo Light twin tip rods. Specialist, they're sort of a, kind of like a barbel rod really, but I bought them primarily for tenching. It's probably overkill for this venue because I'm not casting out far. I've got the 1.75 tips on them. They also come with the 2.25. I primarily bought them for sort of distance feeder fishing. Um, in the past I've used the carp rod for that sort of thing, but I think it's kind of overkill really. And you don't get the pleasure of, you know, playing a fish. When you're on a carp rod you have to step up your line a little bit and you can end up just winching the fish in. I think ideally on a venue like this I'd use one, probably 1.25 test curve, something like that. Um, I wanted to try these out, so that's what I'm doing. Ideally, you'd, you'd probably fish a pole actually here. I'd like to be fishing with a, a feeder of about two ounce, but uh, I haven't got any, so. I've got a one ounce feeder on one rod and a two ounce lead on the other. Just done a little twitch there. Funny, the bites haven't been like I expected. I was expecting to get runs. Um, well, the first one ran. But the second one, I actually... The bobbin was moving a lot. I didn't... You don't strike with these hooks. You don't necessarily strike, so I just reeled into the fish and uh, it was on there but I've actually tried that again a couple of times and, and whatever it was I've lost them well they were tench definitely uh, well good fish they weren't perch or anything like that um, one time actually the the, mag uh, the worm was all um, masking the hook quite a lot <clears throat> so I think that's why I didn't get that one but the second one I'm not, not too sure why I missed it. 
so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to wait until these bites are really positive before I do anything about them. Well, I'm in. He seems to have tangled himself in the other rod by the looks of things. That was a proper screaming run. Okay, it's well and truly tangled in the other rod. There we go, Fenland Tench. If you can see that. Probably about three and a half pound, I reckon. And I've got a lovely tangle to untangle. I think I'm going to fish until, uh, until at least dark, possibly into dark depending on how cold it is. It's actually warmed up a fair bit. It's been nice and sunny earlier. But it's come across all cloudy, but it's, it actually is warmer now. Come in again. Certainly a few fish down there. Woo. I'm nearly eating a curry, so I'm burping. Another good scrap. There you go. Another end of season tench. About three and a half again, I reckon. Lovely. Trouble is, you don't know whether these little twitches are a perch or not. I don't want to leave my rod out there for an hour with a, with a perch hung on the end. Bobbins moving around. Get that attention, I think.
Yep. <coughs> Try and keep it away from the other rock this time. Go. Nice female. Again. <clears throat> Probably three pound or so. Blanket weed. A lot of blanket weed. A lot, lot of rubbish on the bottom in general. That was on worm again. Not a circle hook this time. <clears throat> it's just a sort of normal standard hook pattern that's the rig anyway little cage feeder short 10 pound braid coated for a couple of inches and then stripped for the bottom inch a couple of little float stops there it's basically a sort of a helicopter style rig <coughs> It's a long distance feeder, but uh, it's the heaviest one I've got, so that's what I want to use. Just a little bleep on the other rod then. Yeah, I like these rods. Plenty of action in the tip, but beef down below. Yeah, they're good. Bought a couple of barbel rods last year, Corum ones that were 50 quid each, and they're great actually, great rods. Um, but I'm not so sure I'm going to have much use for them now. So I think they're going to end up on eBay. What I think I might do is just bomb out a little bit of chopped worm. I don't like putting chop worm in ground bait because the, the salt in the ground bait kills the worms and shrivels them up. Um, so I'll see the end. What can I do to get chop worm in here? I can either use a uh, bait dropper or a spawn. Oh, I left the bait dropper at home, so it's spawn it is. Yeah, I think I'll. Uh, I'll just put a little bit more out. I've got another couple of hours before it's dark. So, uh, hopefully the action should continue. Well, I've got another one on. There we go. Little female. A little bit smaller that time. I bought a little thermometer recently and put it in early and it's about 8 degrees the water. I don't know how that compares to normal this time of year but that fish felt chilly. I'm just putting the worms on with a quick stop and hair rig. Just like that. Just going to pull the tail off. That was a uh, not long recast that one. I threw it out about five minutes before I got the fish. A little bubble came up right where I just was casting that. A few bubbles came up right where it landed, so it's a good sign. Unless I hit the fish on the head, of course. That's not so good. There's much indication on that other rod, so I'm going to pull that in and throw that out again as well. Definitely going to fish for uh, 
tension barbel this year, a lot more. I seem to catch a, <laughs> a lot of bream last year. So I think uh, my tactics will be slightly different. I'm gonna forego the ground bait for the most part, I think. Um, obviously the, the Frencham Ponds, Frencham Great Pond, there's no bream in there, so you can use ground bait at your leisure. But a lot of the other venues I fish do have tension, but um, no, I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. I was just kind of lobbing out ground bait feeders and expecting to catch tench. There we go. That's a great perch. Yeah, that old chap. Going in. Forty pound and a half, I reckon. Yeah, as I was saying, I was, you know, just sort of slinging feeders last year and uh, didn't really have my head screwed on. So uh, there's, a, there's a few, well, there's quite a few more lakes on on this ticket Ooh, that I haven't even fished yet. Um, some of the ones I have fished, I'm going to change my tactics and fish down the edge. Um, no ground bait, and uh, see how we get on. Yeah, and try and take the camera a little bit more. I, I usually take it, and quite often I just can't be bothered. Um, but it would be nice to make a few more. Perhaps do a bit more pole fishing as well. I think if I come back down this way in the summer, I'll have a day or two on the pole. It's a much better way of catching tench, I think. You know, you can fish it dead depth or just over and when your float goes on you hit it and you've got a fish. Yeah, it's ledgering, I'm a little bit about. I'm convinced that they should take your bait and blow it out a lot. So I devise a way of hooking those fish. hole where it's suitable it's probably the best thing to be doing <clears throat> you'll be able to see it out there but there's some little bubbles popping up oh, got a little bite actually Tench.
coppery coloured one. Oh, that's a good nail, that one. Beauty, absolute beauty, that. Not a mark on him. What I think I'll do is I'll get these fish out while it's still light. Have a little look and away. I think I'm going to carry on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tench. This big old perch. They are pretty pleased with that little lot. Big, big old male tench there. So. <laughs> That's a nice fish that is. Absolutely perfect. Alright, let's bang them on the scales. Have a little look. I think I might just weigh that big one. Just to see what that goes. There's about 25 pounds here. 28 and a half. Let's weigh this chappy. He's four pound. I'd say. Bang on five. Oh, it's not bad for a wild male tench. It was a very enjoyable day's fishing to come down to a, you know, a natural venue, not stocked, and catch fish like that. Um, at the end of the season, it's fantastic. I'll be back down here over the summer, I should think. Um, possibly not this spot. Um, but on some of these other waters that the club has, uh, doing some more tent fishing. It'd be nice to do a bit of float fishing and pole fishing actually, rather than you know sitting behind bite alarms. Um, the new rods have performed adequately, I'd say. Yeah, very pleased with them actually. They certainly uh, they certainly do the job. As I say, a little bit probably at over overkill. For this uh, this type of venue because I'm not chucking them very far um, but yeah lovely rods I'll be looking forward to putting them through their paces throughout the summer on some more tench and some barbel it'll be, uh, it'll be a nice year to actually seriously get into to the fishing again as I say last year was a bit of a, a muck around had other commitments, um, but nothing on this year, so uh, see you on the bank. <laughs>